My name is Suzanne Blogg. I've had rheumatoid arthritis for about seven years. I started off with um, Sjogren's syndrome first, with dry eyes and dry mouth and um, fever and fatigue. And then I started to get joint pain, mainly in my hands, um, but my shoulders as well. And then it progressed to being joint pain in my feet, in my knees and lots of other joints. I was seeing a physiotherapist and the physiotherapist was probably the first person to say you should be seeing a rheumatologist. When I first became ill, very quickly I had very severe pain in my shoulders. If I tripped, for instance, I, the pain would make me cry, anything that jarred my joints. Um, I used to have to lie in bed with pillows um, holding me so that I never rolled over onto my shoulders. I felt a lot of grief when I was first diagnosed. I, I was in so much pain. Um, I couldn't dress myself, I couldn't use my hands. Um, and it was a lot of grief about losing function. I was pretty scared of what lay ahead and potential disability. I just didn't see any hope. Uh, I, I really thought I would become a quite disabled person that wouldn't be able to just have a job, um, have normal functions, you know, be able to do my own housework or work um, from nine to five like I do now. It was my physiotherapist who said, you're in really serious trouble with so many joints, like you have to see a rheumatologist. And I had two English friends visiting me who were married and both doctors, and they said, what the hell are you doing? You have to start treatment now, as soon as possible, because you can't replace your joints. I thought, um, I could get away with having turmeric and flaxseed oil and high dose vitamin C and all the things that people will start telling you about when you first get it. When I realised I was in real trouble, uh, it was like, okay, this isn't going to cut it. Mainly because I had so many good people advising me that I couldn't replace my joints and that the longer I left it, the less likely it was to work and the less effective it was going to be. Plus, I couldn't reverse the damage that had already been done. When you first start, it's not gonna happen instantly. You really have to be patient and really give it a good go. Like, give it three months. In my case, it was three months before I felt fine again. You've got to just persevere with it. Don't get too worked up about every little side effect and if you're nauseous or not, just keep going through it. I wasn't severely ill, but sometimes when you start, they start at a lower dose and titrate you up and then come back down. And once I found where I belonged, you know, without side effects bothering me, you then stay there forever if you can, because you're stable. And that's really the really important thing to do, is just to find the place that suits you with the right dose. But it takes months. Anyone with rheumatoid arthritis knows all you want is to get a state to a stable place and then you don't want to mess with it. So I'm in a stable place. I want to stay where I'm at. I haven't changed anything for a really long time. My dose works. I just want to keep hiking, keep doing the things I enjoy doing, stay healthy and enjoy life as long as I can. I'm very rarely sick. There are occasions where I might get some joint pain, very rarely. I live a normal life. I, I can do everything I've, I usually do. I swim most days. I go on 10 kilometre hikes every other day around Malabar Headland. You know, I can go to the gym and work out. I can play guitar, I can write, I can use a computer. There's nothing wrong with me. I would really encourage people to start as quickly as possible, as soon as they're diagnosed, because it makes all the difference to your quality of life.